Hello, loves. Hi, guys. I um, I wanted to do something kind of different today. I haven't done a pick a card in a minute, and I really miss it. I do, I do. I miss pick a cards. People have been asking about them. I think I'm gonna do it today. You know, why not? I wanted to tell you guys public service announcement that beautiful Earth angels. You guys have the most beautiful, unconditional love coming in. All of my clients are just bringing in, like, the best love. I, I, it's like tuning into it. I get to see it so clearly. I, I'm able to see people's, like, characteristics, what they do for a living, how spirit is uniting them. It's, it's like I've never seen so clearly soulmates and twin flames coming into union. I've never seen it like this. Um, I'm definitely shifting into a new collective, a new timeline, and you are all getting love. Ah, it's the most beautiful thing. It's so gorgeous. I, I'm here for it. Um, so today we're going to focus on love, because why not? You know, let's see what's coming in for you, right? Pile one, you're going to choose indecision. One minute, 11 seconds, indecision. Your card is indecision. I'm getting Little Red Riding Hood here with that. Pile two, the sixth chakra, the crown, or the, the third eye, the third eye chakra. Archangel Metatron. Why, when I went to go say that, did it sound so weird? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, here's the train now. Somebody's, that one's gonna be loaded with a whole bunch of shit. Oh my God, magician in the mirror on the split. Guys, whoever's picking pile two, all right, pile three, man holding a heart. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, that one's a delicious yes. I could say a Jenna stamp of approval here. All right, so guys, pile one is indecision, pile two is the third eye chakra, and pile three is man holding a heart. <gasps> Love it, let's get into these readings today. I thank you guys so much for being here. Let's get started. Hi guys, those that chose pile one, the indecision card. Welcome to your reading. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. You're flirting with somebody. Pile one. You're having a hard time right now, pile one, determining whether this person, wow, whether you should take the leap of faith and tell them how you feel or not. Could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. It, or they could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay, wow. Wow. All right, pile one, pile one. Oh, God. You, you're a little alarmed. I, mean, I don't know. There's something that you don't quite trust. Uh, we have the, the logical, decisive, the overly logical with the witchy and magical. You're kind of wondering, is this going to work? Could this work? Could it? Could it work? Could love work? Yeah, hell yeah, it could work. I feel like you're overly logical or your person is, and, and you're like the opposite. 10 of cups, could it work? Hell yeah, it could work. 111 on the clock. Guys, hell yeah, it could work. 10 of wands in reverse, the empress. Hell yeah, it could work. What are you doing? I feel like you're at a crossroads. You're like right at the fork in the road. You're like, all right, well. Mm. Something about, you, 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 it's like religious, maybe beliefs that are getting in the way here. One of you is very magical, very witchy. Queen of swords and the other super logical. I mean, that's what I'm getting. Pile one, someone might be into you like that. Like, like they're into you and they're indecisive whether they should try with you. They really like you though. I'm hearing, I, I really love your physique. I love your body. I love your, I heard lips. <laughs> Seven of cups, ooh. Yeah, but they're just mulling it over. It's like, it's like, oh my God, I said lips and there he is touching his lips. <gasps> Stop, did you guys have a kiss? Oh my God, this man wants to kiss you. Okay. Somebody wants to kiss pile one so fucking bad, bro. And there's the queen of wands again. If you are a, okay, well, if you're a witch, uh-huh, I love it. I, the whole channel, I hope, is full of witches. I love witches. They're my favorite. The most confident queen in the deck with the empress. This man, or woman, I'm getting a man for most of you, is so physically drawn to you, it should be a crime. 
they think they might not believe in what you do for work. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, they're a little bit scared of it. It's something a little bit taboo about what you believe. It, that, that's what this person's saying. I'm getting Virgo energy now. They're a little bit, mm, yeah, they're a little bit, I, yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't understand it. But you know what? It's like you light up when you do it. You're so happy when you do this that it makes them feel like you must know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, you could be a healer or a reader like me. This person's like so into it. Oh, guys, I swear to everything, I didn't plan this, but on this deck over here, we have the word kiss. They could play chess, I just saw that. Six of Pentacles, something about chess or checkers, I don't know. I heard a peck. They wanna give you like a peck on the cheek or a peck. This, they are so smitten. Oh my God, oh my God, Ace of Wands, girl. King of Pentacles, this man has money too. They like watch you. You're softening their heart, I'm hearing. You're, you're helping them go from like the King of Swords to kind of the King of Pentacles. In my eyes, the King of Swords is a little bit too rigid. But, but the King of Pentacles, you know, he's, he's like, work with me here, okay? I'll, I'll work with you, I'll work with you. You're, you're opening this person's mind to other ideas but beyond like religion or um, just like logic, yeah. You'd love this, they're so cute. I feel like they wear khakis with sneakers. Or this person wears like, um, hmm. yeah, like expensive clothes, but then they like wear sneakers. And it's so cute, it's adorable. Yeah, so cute. Ah, uh, pile one. Freedom. Empathy. They watch you. I, I keep hearing you have such a pure energy. It's like, it's so heartfelt and, and it, it's like, you kind of are beaming. You, you almost glow. <laughs> yeah. You almost glow. Oh my God, the happiness card came out. You, you, you're almost so happy, like you just kind of are beaming. You're beaming. I don't know if this person tries a beamer. I don't know, I'm getting beam, beam. Like you could have said beam me up Scotty to this person or something. I'm getting beam, like beam. I heard the corporate ladder. They think? They think they could help you climb the corporate ladder or something like that. Balance, Libra energy, but it's like success, yeah. But they're almost like, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that because pile one is too organic on your own. Like you you might even want to start a business. Actually, the Queen of Wands is a uh, uh, an entrepreneur. So this person kind of sometimes thinks like, how can I help you? How can I help you? Like, what do I have to offer if I'm not gonna be helping you climb the corporate ladder? How else can I help you get success? They wanna be in your orbit. This person, I feel like they stalk you, but in a, not in a creepy way, just kind of like a normal kind of not also normal, you know? It's not kind of normal. I don't think stalking is normal. Contrary to popular belief by the unhealthy obsession people have with me lately, health there. This man wants to be like a healthy balance of like, I'll, I'll chase you, but then I'm like gonna pull it back and be like not weird and creepy. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. They're, they're, this person's wondering how can I release a lot of your burdens, fear in reverse, a lot of your fears, a lot of your fears about being with somebody again, very over analytical, very logical. Cause, cause that's what they see you as, is the opposite. Very free spirited, right? Um, you just go with the flow, like you go with your intuition. You're, very, you're a very free bird, pile one. And this person just does not see themselves that way. They're, they're tied down to something is what I'm hearing. Surrender, they can't surrender to love right now as much as they wish they could because they're tied to something. It says, I can release my need to control and it's in reverse. 
they're really, they're, they're really, wow, empathy. They're so drawn to your heart. Like, it's so pure. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. It's insane how beautiful you are. This, this person is like, there's no way. There's, there's no way. They don't believe it. This person even sends projections sometimes towards you. Like, like they tried to almost dis, um, to persuade themselves that you're not really this beautiful so that it's not that much of a pull. They, they, they can be like, oh yeah, well, pile one isn't really anything to lose. It's fine. But, but it's like, I don't know what's happening. Somehow they're being sucked into your orbit or something. It's like they can't, they can't stop watching, you know? I don't know what it is, honey. They are into you. They have two choices. They have a path of gold. A path of gold is what I'm hearing. They have money, wealth, fame, status. But then on the side of you, they have delicacy. Like you're delicate, you're, you're fragile, you're You, you make this person have to decide. I just feel like there's no way you're that beautiful. There's no way you're that organic. On your own. You must be alone. You must be alone. Yeah. I feel like you do everything yourself. You're very independent. You're making them decide. And, and they're, they're going to, they're gonna to have to make a decision. Oh, they're like, this is too, this, this is, you give them a high, like a buzz, an actual high, like a euphoria, a euphoria. They have to choose you. They have to, there's no, there's no way that they can, they can choose otherwise. Uh. Indecision, confirming indecision, stop. Stop. I said stop and the water stopped. My neighbor was showering and then it just stopped when I said that. 10, 10 on the clock. I feel like you're gonna say something soon that's gonna end something for them. The confusion, yeah, the indecision. You're gonna say something soon and it's gonna be like, all right, boom, that's my go ahead. That's my go ahead. For what, for what? That's your go ahead for what? I can't believe there's two indecision. The star, this is how they see. Like you literally glow, honey. Like people can see you from fucking out of space, okay? Like, like th they think you are a star. They would never try to control you. They can't, they can't control a star. They're like, there's no way. They're not that cute. No, no, they're not really. They're trying their best not to fall for you. It's so cute. I think that's our, that ship has sailed. It's too late. 11-11 <laughs> on the clock. It's too late. They already fell, honey. Hook, line, and sinker. It could be that you're with a, a water sign because like all of a sudden I'm super thirsty. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe indecision came up in the same spread twice? I can't believe that. That's what I like to call magic. But this person doesn't normally believe in magic until you showed up. Eight of Cups, the tower. Something is closing in their life. A, a chapter is closing in their life and it was not to be expected. It, they did not expect it. It's not that they blame you. They don't blame you. They blame meeting you. <laughs> yeah. You know what they like? They like arguing with you, debating with you, getting loud about it. Like, I, I, it's such a weird thing. It's like, your purity is almost so overwhelming that it's almost like when they see you argue with them or banter or something, it like, it makes you more human. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise you seem angelic and this person is trying their best to almost convince you that you're not. I don't know. I don't like that. 
but they're trying to convince you that you're not as organic and, and angelic as you are because it's like cognitive dissonance. They're trying their best not to see you as an angel. They want to see you as a human. So, so they don't, they're not forced to make a decision faster. That's what it is. I'm going to leave it there guys. I love you so much. If you want to personal with me, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye. bye Hello gorgeous. Oh, welcome to your reading. Those who chose the third eye chakra here. Archangel Metatron. When I said it, I was like, why does it sound gibberish? I'm Oh, okay, yeah, no, this was the, that's right. This was the pile of black magic. There's something going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pile two. Guys, I, look, I know dyslexia is like, I know it's real in that um, it's like an actual, I think a learning disability if I'm not mistaken, but I think it's reading comprehension too. It's like you see things backwards. Listen, there's an element here of, of you not speaking properly or, or reading correctly or something about like taking in information, it's blocked. Your third eye is blocked. Someone is blocking you right now in love, not seeing a situation in love right, okay? Um, Holy Spirit, please pile two. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. It's like somebody has you pile two thinking about the past a little bit too much that there's hope in the past and there's not. There's no hope in the past I'm hearing. Failure. It's going to fail repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But there's someone messing up your third eye in a way, like like um, convoluting it or um, making you see backwards, yeah, making you see back, go back, go back, go back, all the time. And it's like, you can't ever manifest something new for the future because you're just like back and back. And you know what I mean? I feel like some of you want to know about your life purpose too. And you want to help humanity. And you're trying to get downloads about that from spirit. Patience. Patience is a virtue for that. I'm hearing patience. It, a lot of your healers. And you're like, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know, but you can't yet. Someone's pulling on your energy to get you in the past. How are you going to heal people if you can't heal yourself? Patience is a virtue. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. It's not time yet. It's not time for you to work for humanity. It's time to, for you to work for you. Health here. Somebody is really uh, pulling you back to the past. It was a, it was a love partnership. They're pulling you back because they're lonely. My neighbor just closed the door. I'm getting like, this door is closed and you know it. See, it's like, it's like logically, you know it, you know, you know, it's over, but some of you are like, well, can we be friends? Maybe we can still be together, like, just like talk every once in a while. No, I feel like you need no contact, completely no contact. This is actually affecting like your, I don't know. Your health, yeah, your mental health. I'm hearing the way you learn, the way you teach. So it's like, you wanna be a healer. You wanna do something to heal people inspire and lead and stuff, but it's, it's affecting your ability to teach and coach. I heard coach as well. Um, this person's pulling you back to the past. Like you need to stop reliving the past manifestation, but I'm hearing like that's easier said than done. You keep manifesting more of the past because in your present moment, you're confirming that the past is still real. Like all we ever have is right now in this present moment. Right. But you're saying consistently all day, I feel like, oh no, there's hope with that person. There's hope with that guy, with that girl. There's hope, there's hope. Um, and then you like look at the, the, the memories and stuff and you're bringing that person back into your current awareness, which is manifesting more of them, more of them, more of them, more of them. This is the magician card for me. And I was, I was getting an element of dark magic here. So I will tell you this. I don't think it's just you. I think that there is something happening to keep you clouded in your third eye. Courage, you could be with a, a Leo maybe, or you could be a Leo. And we have healing in reverse. You're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. I know that you're wanting to take a leap forward towards your, your career goals in healing. Yes, you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that, but it's not time yet. I feel like you keep wanting to heal this woman or this man. You're just like, I can't let them go though, Jenna. I can't let them go. Wow, answers in reverse. You don't have all the answers yet as to how to heal yourself. So you can't really find your passion yet in healing others. Like 
like your heart, your heart doesn't feel in it yet. Your heart is not in it 100%. 4.44 on the clock just now, you don't have all the answers. And you're not going to get all the answers until you make an agreement with the universe that you're done. Look at this. I just said passion in reverse. You don't have the... Oh my God. I shuffled and there it is. Passion in reverse. You don't have the passion for healing yet. You're lukewarm. Pile two, I hate to tell you this. You are lukewarm. You're, you're wavering. You're teetering between... Well, the new world, like I want to, I want to do something new and I want, I want like the new, cre the new creation and I want, I want new earth and you know, okay. But then, but then um, in the same sentence, you're just like, but like my ex though. And he's like, I don't know my ex. You have to decide. You have to decide. You're not getting the passion to do this well-being. You're not getting the passion to do this yet. Cause you don't even live in a state of well-being. How are you going to convince other people to live in a state of well-being? You're not even being well. Fertility. I feel like some of you are actually already trying to jump the gun and you're already trying your best to grow a project or a, um, a company or a, um, a group or something and it's failing. It's failing. It's not working. It's not working. Five of Wands. You're facing nothing but conflict. The chariot in reverse. It's like you keep trying to get two steps ahead and it's like you go three steps backwards. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like your money's drying up. Chariot, this is not moving forward. This project, this, this, you're putting all this energy, all this time into something and it's not going anywhere. Why? Because you're still hung up on the past. Because you are so afraid of feeling guilty for letting them go, not being their only source of healing. How can you be humanity's source of healing when you are giving 24 7 thoughts and energy? And you're healing empathetic gifts to one person or two people when you're supposed to be giving it to 8 billion. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not growing. Your project isn't growing. This is not taking off. And you don't, it's like you're losing money. I feel like you're losing money, pile two. Oh my God. I picked up this deck and on the split, we have friends again. I feel like it's your friends group. Or, or you want to be friends with this person from the past. I'm hearing no, no, no contact. That means no, no effort at all on your part anymore for this person. Could be a Leo. Again, I'm getting Leo here. I just heard that song. We're just friends. Um, friends, F-R-I-E-N-D-S. That's what it means, just friends. But it's like, wow, abundance. Abundance came out. A breakthrough in abundance if you can move past this. Don't go look at me with that look in your eye. You really aren't going away without a fight. You can't be reasoned with undone being polite. I gave you one, two, three, four, way too many tries or something. I can't remember the lyrics, but... You keep forgiving this person and then go back and heal them. Forgive them, heal them, forgive them, heal them, forgive them, heal them. Honey, you're not gonna have any energy to, to help humanity. You're not gonna have any energy to put towards a project that puts money in your bank account, okay? That's what I'm getting. For with love, for, for with love, I didn't mean to say that. For with love, all things are possible. That's what I just heard. For with love, all things are possible, but you don't have much love right now going on. It's a lot more codependency than love at this point. Um, you can't be friends with this person. That's what I'm hearing. You cannot be friends with them. Seven of Wands, you need better defense. You need to defend yourself. I feel like, I feel like there's an element of empathy spells here. Like you breaking away from this person will make them feel, like, like blame you. Like, wow, can't believe you'd leave me. Two of swords and you are in your head. You are really dazed and confused when it comes to the third eye. That's what I'm getting. The two of swords is like unable to make a decision. And I'm getting with the third eye. It's like you, you just, it's all, the shit is clouded, man. It's clouded. Three of swords. Here it is. Cause you're like, I'm going to break their heart. I'm going to break their heart. If I leave honey, honestly, they broke their own heart. Didn't they? They broke their own heart when they treated you like shit. They break their own heart when they don't heal, when they don't take care of their own psychic gifts, when they don't, when they don't, purge their own darkness they, they break their own heart right 
Sometimes the way that we show unconditional love to people is by walking away. Sometimes the first time anyone in our circle sees unconditional love for the first time is when we love ourselves so unconditionally that we walk away. You keep wanting to do this whole like business thing. I think that that's in the cards for you. Quite literally, I saw it, but I don't see it working out right now because you've not made a decision and the universe itself is kind of undecided about you because you're undecided about narcissists. So they're not giving you what you want because you're half in, half out. You're lukewarm. Nine of cups. You could have wish fulfillment. This could be what you want. I think that you have this innate desire within you to do something that's like, it's just, it's like your cup of tea. It's perfect for you. But, but the hermit, but you need more time and healing. You need to heal right now. That is what you need. You need to heal yourself, not other people. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi everyone. I just had three. Welcome. Look at the sexy hunk though. Who is that? Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, I heard who wants to rip your clothes off and have you for dinner. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um, wow. My spirit guides are extremely vulgar. I'm here for it. Wow. Who is this hubba hubba, huh? Hubba hubba. Dang. You know, it's been a minute. When you're looking at an oracle card and you're like, okay, hyperventilating. You know what I mean? You know it's been a very long time. I am too embarrassed to tell you how long, to be honest with you. Oh, the Empress, though. Come on. That is the most physically alluring um, archetype in the entire deck. The most physically stunning is the Empress. Who is this? Whoever this is, this person has everyone after them. I mean, I mean, their pick of the litter, okay? This is, this is someone who has people like throwing their panties at them, okay? Eight of wands. They're not speaking to you right now. This person isn't speaking to you. Why? Starstruck, awestruck, awestruck. Five of pentacles. You know what is so crazy? They have all these people after them but yet you're the only one that is like causing them to see that they have confidence issues. It's like, yeah, I'm hearing, how do I have confidence issues? How do I have confidence issues? It's like you're, you're highlighting for them that they are what, are what? Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, that they have used friends and women and, and men to like, hide their confidence issues. The moon, it's being relayed to them through their psyche and in dreams and the subconscious. I heard you do this, you do this, it's just you, it's just you, it's you. They're avoiding you like the plague because they are so sick and tired of seeing it within themselves that they have used used people they feel like a user but like only around you though before that they didn't feel that way they actually felt quite content and happy doing what they were doing i'm hearing daughter daughter eight of swords you might have a daughter eight of swords king of swords in reverse You, it's like, okay, it's like, hmm. The closer you get into this person's orbit, you know? I feel like, I feel like you tiptoe in, right? Like you'll, you'll message them every week, like once a week, or, or like you'll have a dream like every month, once a month or something. It's like you, you, you just like, you're barely there. You're barely there. And this person just like goes insane. It's like their narcissism starts to show up. What they think is their narcissism. I don't think this person's a narc. I don't. I don't. I think they got involved with some really shady ass people who like convinced them that they were that way. I, yeah, I'm hearing run with the big dogs. These people, okay. These people that your person is running around with, 
It's their energy. They have a very sick energy. They are the users, not your person. And I know you know this, but it's like the closer you get to them, they feel guilt. The tower, bitch. Knight of Wands for being an emotional manipulator. King of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Wands is very phallic, a player, a Casanova, and a tower. This is like getting your jollies off with anybody, just anybody, and then, you know, claiming to be like a, a person of God or, or, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm not saying that they're not, but they're saying that they're not. Your person is saying, I'm not very godly then, am I? Why would I deserve pile three if I'm not a godly person? 444 on the clock just now. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra, I heard. They have like really shady friends around them and they know it. What are they doing about that, spirit? Storm warning. It's not what they're doing about it. It's what spirit is doing about it. Ooh, shit. The world closing up cycles, babe. They have no choice. They have no choice but to sit their ass down and look at this. And every time you come around, it happens. It's like this part. Oh my God. This person literally thinks that you are the one causing the apocalypse in their life. I'm hearing no wonder they're not getting back to you. No wonder they're not even texting you or calling you or, or taking you on a date. No wonder. They're kind of hoping secretly that if they avoid you, you'll avoid them. But that's not happening. That's not happening. Anytime soon. Right, the journey. Because you're like, this is my, my soulmate, my twin flame, yeah. You know who they are to you. <laughs> you're like, that's not happening. And look how she's, look at her dress. And she's just like, I'm here. <laughs> like, look, <laughs> look, look, she even has a suitcase. And she's like, honey, I'm home. It's like, it's like you're not letting up. And they're like begging you to. They're like, they're like, oh my God, this person is even in a way trying to offend you with distance, offend you by not texting back or they're trying their best to like convince you they don't want you so that you're so pissed at them that you leave them alone. Ah, you're like, that's not happening. That's not happening. Ooh, envy. Okay, I'm hearing something about their friend group. You could be seeing 222 a lot. You'd be dealing with a Leo. The sun, something's being exposed about their friend group too. Oh God, this is really intense. This this person, this envy, envious, devious uh, tyrant in their life. It's a friend. It's a friend of me, actually, correction. I heard this person's a sour puss. They're so sour. They're so bitter about you. This friend is bitter about you. It's a third party. It fell on, it, Envy fell on top of the three of cups. That's where I put it at, actually. It didn't fall. I said it there. It didn't fall. I said it there. You're way more methodical than this third party thought. You're way cunning. Okay, in a good way. People think you're devious. Like that you've got this all planned out. I feel like you do. I feel like you do. You're winning over the hearts of many I'm hearing in this third, in this party group. This, yeah, because there's someone at the top and it's not your person. There's someone at the top of this community or friend group or um, family, company, something like that. Partnering up with your person, like right next to your person, right? Buddy, buddy, yeah, I'm hearing elbow, elbows, rubbing elbows. And this person, is such a tyrant that um, a whole group or community of people are like really ready to jump ship like your person. You're so methodical. You're like, I'm patient. I've got all day. Like this is something like you have planned patiently. You and spirit have, have, have orchestrated this. There's something about this third party though. This, this envious, devious person. Um, Ooh, when I say they hate you, that doesn't even begin to cover it. Their name can start with an E or a J. The Tower. Hon Whew, honey, 
The tower. I'm hearing this person has no skin in the game anymore. They're willing to watch it all burn. Whoever this person is, it's dangerous. It almost looks like a fire, doesn't it, right? They're willing to let everything... They have nothing to lose anymore. And they see it. You're taking their best friend or their, their son or their daughter away, you know, by loving them and, and going to be in a union. And then you're taking this, this group of friends or siblings and everybody. Like, you're winning the hearts of the whole family. And this person is like, fine. Okay. There's nothing left to lose. Sure. You want to play that game? Let's play it. Breakthrough. Fell on top of tower as well. So you have tower twice with the breakthrough card. What they don't realize though, is there's already been a breakthrough. In what way? Text, text. They've already read something or seen something. Miracles. There's already been a miracle take place between you and your soulmate. Peace. There's already been a miracle that happened. There's already been an inter intervention. There's, there's already been um, a rescue mission. You've already done it. That's what this envious person doesn't see yet. Because I feel like you did this telepathically and you did it energetically. You might not have done it in like the physical so much, but if you did, your person read a text of yours. They might have even read a text between you and this third party too or something. Somehow this third party is getting exposed, okay? I'm hearing war and peace, war and peace. You bring peace and they bring war and your person knows it, sees it, king of wands. War and peace, war and peace justice and they're choosing peace you better believe that there's already been an inter intervention what i heard is um your person saying like i didn't fall in love i've heard, I've, heard, I've always been in love your person is saying Like, they're saying to the third party, like, honestly, you're the one that took me from them, my original love, not the other way around. Because this per third person, this third party is trying to convince your person that, oh, they're stealing me away. They're stealing you away from me. And really, your person is like, actually, I'm starting to see clearly that they were my original love all along. They're technically my twin flame. You're the karmic. 1212 12 on the clock just now. Could be important for somebody. Let's get a message from your person. Let's see. Message, please. Tower moments. Stop. 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 It, 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 that's a fucking fourth time the tower has shown up with the storm warning card. That's why your person keeps saying, stop, stop. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Because it's the towers. They are just, everything is crumbling out of their life. Tower, tower, tower. No way. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like pile three, you guys keep wondering though, if I don't, if I don't approach or if I don't talk to them, is it too, has it been too long? Has it been too long? Like, like you need to stay in this person's mind or something. No, you don't. No, you don't. Peace is all I want. Didn't I say that? They're choosing peace. God, I'm good. I am so good at my job. 13, 13 on the clock. You could definitely be with a Scorpio or you're a Scorpio or the third party might be a Scorpio. I see you guys. Look, see, I'm sending you signs. Do you feel them? You keep wanting your person to call you or like respond back to you. And it's like, I'm sending signs. I'm being in their face so that they can't forget me. Hi, honey. Oh, Lord Jesus. God almighty, babe. This person could never fucking forget you. Okay. Ever, ever again. Ever, 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 ever. They'll never forget you. So stop. I feel like you need to take a hint right now because this person, their tower moments are from hell and they can't, they can't 
it's quite digest it all. King of Wands here. Again, King of Wands, maybe a Leo Sag or an Aries you're dealing with. They can't, they can't quite handle it all. It's like it's too much to see at one time is what it is. You're exposing too much truth too soon. The moon in reverse. You're exposing too much truth too soon. Damn. Thank you, Spirit. This was a beautiful reading. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.